hey guys hope you are doing good uh, welcome back to another excel video today we are going to see something about dates like finding different between dates here i have some data like you know this is like order date okay and then this is the date say the product was like you know the subscription was cancelled or something like that okay but the problem here is this is like not date format this is like in general format as you see so i can't like for example if i want to find the difference between this date and this date I can't do it there's a value error so the trick is how do we first like try to convert this these two you know uh, data points into date and then find the difference in dates right that is what we're going to see so for example this basically means 1st March 2020 right so first step what we'll try to do is like order day uh, order month and order year right we'll try to extract that okay from this data so to extract order day, it's the first two letters, right, from this uh, data. So I would say uh, left. So if you have seen the left function video, you'll understand this. I'll select this and say comma two, okay. And I can just copy the formula down. And uh, similarly here, I want to see zero three, which is somewhere in the middle. So I could say mid, okay. And this text, comma, starting position is the fourth position, right? basically first two are dates then you have a dot so starting position is four and number of characters is two right month is basically two characters zero three zero four like that so i can do that and you get the month zero three and i can drag this formula and year is basically the last four letters from the right so i could say right of select this and say four right of that comma four and i get the year right so yeah, now I got the day month year for order for cancel. If I have to do the same procedure, I could say cancel day, cancel month, uh, cancel year. Okay. And I could literally copy the same formula, right? I could just copy this. Okay. And I say, uh, left off instead of a two, I can say B two because now we are doing dealing with cancel date and yeah, we get 10, right? Uh, and then, yeah, I can simply for copy this uh, mid formula also just like that to get the month so i'll say mid and i will say b2 12 right because as you see here it's 10th december 2020 i can drag this formula and this will be basically right of uh, this one comma four right that's it and now we have the dates as well okay now how do we convert you know these you know sub parts into a proper date so i can say again order date uh, and i can say date of okay there's this date function and then select year year is this one uh, then month is this one and then day is this one okay just select those three and now you have so this basically means first march 2020 it's the american format so yeah for example this is first april 2020 right you have the month first then the uh, date then the year first april 2020 here we have it in date format for cancel the date uh, to do the same procedure i could simply say date of what is the year year is year month is year and day is year right yeah let me just yeah select day which is f2 and yeah this basically means uh, december 10 2020 you have the month then the date then the year and that's it i can drag the formula and now to see the difference now we can do a direct minus it should work like yeah difference yeah basically can say cancel date minus uh, this one that's it very simple so 284 days which makes sense right this is march 2020 this is december like it's little more than nine months so around 270 to 80 days then this one is march versus october yeah around 236 days this is almost one and a half years right so that's why it's 550 days okay so i i hope you enjoyed this video like a quick way to use left mid function to first identify the date from the text then convert it into date and then find the difference okay i'll see you again in another video till then take care bye